I could buy a house there. I don't know anyone who owns a house. Like genuinely, of all of my family and friends in Canada, I don't know a single person who owns a house. It's real fucking expensive here. Everyone rents. For the rent that I pay for this shoebox of a townhouse, I could be paying a down payment on a house in America. It's crazy. Do you get ever get enough time to watch more obscure indie wrestling? It depends on how obscure we're talking. I pop my head in every once in a while. Stop by in Michigan? I don't think I've ever been to Michigan, but it's not too far away. Spark. That is much stronger than Nuzzle. I do need just a straight up attack one. I never use Tail Whip. You live in North Carolina? Come live with me if need be. No, thank you. I'd rather have my own home, thank you. Ralts. I like Ralts. That's a cool Pokemon. Do you really want to deal with USA shitty healthcare? Yeah. With the amount of money that I would save living in America? Like, like genuinely, the amount of money that I'd save in America more than pays for the healthcare. So I don't mind. If I was still at the poverty line like I was a few months ago, then I probably wouldn't just for the sake of safety. Um, but honestly, now, yeah. Hon even, honestly, before, when we were, like, riding the poverty line... We could we could actually afford to like rent not not buy but rent a decent house in in America in some states is crazy. Like that is how big the difference is in the cost of living. It's unbelievable. Melbourne City Wrestling. I've watched a little bit of Melbourne City Wrestling back in the day because so if you've been watching me for years, you know that I have always been a really big fan of uh, of Buddy Murphy. Even back when he was a jobber on NXT, I'm talking like losing to the Ascension, not even tag teaming with Blake yet. I was already a fan of him. Um, so I've been I've been talking about for years and years and years. I'm so happy that he's finally kind of like made it big and people realize how good this health or this guy is because uh, he's he's fantastic. But because of that, I looked up his past as Juggernaut Matt Silva. In, in Melbourne City Wrestling. Um, <laughs> and he was he was very talented wrestler even back then, although he was super fucking shaky on the microphone. But I am actually familiar with a little bit of Melbourne City Wrestling from those days. Because uh, I, I wanted to Google around and do my research on him. So yeah. Uh, Melbourne City Wrestling. I haven't seen much of it, but what I've seen I thought was pretty cool. Did the challenges get you over the poverty line? Yeah, by a lot. Uh, I'm no Richman, of course, but uh, but uh, the, the it's like I've talked about in, in the in the the Pokemon challenges. You guys watching my Pokemon challenges really did get so popular that I like I paid off my debt. That that is how much money came in from it. That I paid off my debt and it wasn't even a full paycheck. It's crazy. Need to get a beard in-game as a cosmetic? I agree. Yeah, Buddy Murphy has always been amazing. He used to be really shaky on the mic. I think he's so much better on the mic now. He always had a good silent personality and was a tremendous wrestler. But, like, now that he's great on the mic, that dude is the total package. And he's only gotten better in the ring. Like, God, that guy has infinite potential. Cool that the YouTuber has nerds who are, I'm guessing you mean fans, and he's a fan of someone else. Well, oh yeah, every YouTuber is a fan of different people. I'm a big fan of Travis Banks, and it turns out he's a fan of mine too, which is super fucking cool. We both, when he DM'd me, we both basically fanboyed over each other. That's awesome. He's a cool dude. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. BA select start. That's the multiplayer version of the Contra code. Unless you're just doing up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, because you're referencing up, up, down, down, Xavier Woods Let's Play show, which is also a reference to Contra code. Or sometimes called the Konami code. You have everything I like with the streamer? Oh, that's nice. 
Man, it's almost takeover time. He got the Cruiserweight Championship in Melbourne back in the day? Really? How the fuck did he qualify? That dude was a shit brick house back when he's in Melbourne. I looked at footage of him. There's no way that dude was a Cruiserweight. <laughs> Matt Silva was a giant man. There's a reason he was called Juggernaut Matt Silva. How did he qualify for a Cruiserweight title shot back in Melbourne? Was he like way leaner before I watched him or something? Because, like, yeah, he leaned out when he got in WWE, sure, so they could be in the Cruiserweight division, but even then, he's kind of tall and he's real fucking buff. How'd he pull that off? So what's this thing? Okay, I don't think I recognize that one. Coolest new gen Pokemon you've seen so far? I really like, uh, Thievel, I think it's called? My Fox. I like that one so far. Back to wrestling. Someone explain. Someone explain... Like, what wrestling is? Sorry, I talk about wrestling a lot. I just, it's my favorite art form. Grass type? Okay. Sorry, I was just reading the chat a lot. Sorry, sometimes I get really distracted from the game because I'm just having fun reading the chat. My bad. Sinkar used to be your favorite WD wrestler. He actually just asked for his release. Which, it's the... Is right now it's the current Sinkar, which is the one who's played by Unico. Well, I mean he's played by um I, I believe his name is Jose something. Um I think his name is Jose. Uh but you know, the wrestler who used to wrestle not under mask, who was called Unico in WWE. Who's a different guy than the original Sinkar in WWE. Which I actually I actually prefer uh I actually prefer Unico as a wrestler to the original guy. I think I might be in the minority on that one, but I always really liked Unico. Do you consider wrestling a sport or a drama? That's a weird question. Um, it's, I don't know. It's like saying, do you, con do you consider boxing uh, a combat sport or dance? It doesn't matter what I consider it. It's literally one of the two things. Uh, it, it is only one of them. R wrestling is theater. I want a fish. I want to do a fish. Oh, I went away. No, I don't want to pay them a visit. Two big mushrooms. Hell yeah. Do you accept trade Pokemon in your game? Uh, I might at some point. Probably. Just found a shiny Geodude? Good on you. What does it look like? I actually don't know what that looks like. Do a Q&A with Twitch chat. Oh yeah, I do stuff. Well, I mean, that's pretty much what the pre-streams are. I mean, that's kind of what the streams are, too. Hell yeah, fishing mini games. Not the best one I've ever played, but uh, we already have this. You just uploaded a new video while uh, streaming? Yeah. It, it was a scheduled upload. Oops, that was a misclick. I meant to run. Hey, what are these things? I actually don't recognize that. Is it a fairy ghost? Looks like it should be a fairy ghost. That's kind of cool. Thought it was from this game. Oh, no, no, no. It was from the one yesterday. What family guy? What? Oh, people are comparing TV shows. Uh, I don't watch any of those shows. Sorry. I don't watch TV. I actually haven't owned a TV in many years. Mono? Pure fairy? Okay. I don't know, I think it looks kind of cool. Rick and Morty is awful, but have you watched Rick and Morty? Seems like a lot of people don't like it just because of the fans. Which, I always try to avoid that mentality. I think it's a, a closed-minded mentality that a lot of people get into. I'm not necessarily saying that you're in it, I'm just saying a lot of people get into that mentality, and it's quite closed-minded when they do. It's like people who don't like Undertale because they don't like Undertale fans. Like, first of all, Undertale fans are a lot of different people. Uh, who are very, very different, have very little in common. And second, um, Undertale's a fucking phenomenal video game. Never let the fans of something dissuade you from liking the thing itself. The fans are not, a represent, uh, not representative of the thing itself.
fuck. I was hoping I could just get an easy catch on the side, you know? Fan base is terrible. See, don't even be like that. Because I bet you the majority of fans are totally normal people that you will never hear being weird online because they're not being weird online and that's why you don't notice them. The average Rick and Morty fan is probably a completely normal person. So don't go disparaging them all. It's like saying Pokemon fans are bad. You guys are all Pokemon fans. Maybe you saw some Pokemon fans online that you didn't like, and you're like, ah, oh, it gives us a bad name. You're a Pokemon fan too, so you should know better than to be like, Pokemon fans are shit. Because no, you're one, you're not shit. So no, just some some of the ones online are shit. Yeah, you can say a fan base for anything is bad if you're just taking it off the shittiest people you see online. I know it's resisting me, by the way, for anyone wondering. I'm just, I'm wearing down its special defense and trying to get its health down. Yeah, every fan base has douches in it. Don't let that ruin the content for you. Stop healing, you fucker. I see what you're getting at, King. I've never been called King before. That's odd. Don't know how to feel about that. Pretty presumptuous of you to assume you're not shit. <laughs> Pokemon has pretty huge douches in the fan base, but the games are still A+. Plus. Yeah, everything's got some pretty huge douches, though. That's the thing. Your average Pokemon player is not a douche. Your average Pokemon player is just a normal person. That's my point? Yeah. We're on the same page. Checkmark person, congratulations on getting verified. I feel like I've congratulated you before and I've just, I'm just blanking now. Ancient power, that's uh, the really strong rock move with five power points? Man, I'm getting that early. Oh no, it's not as strong as I thought it was. Still could raise all stats, I think it's like a 10% though. Mmm, fuck rock polish. Na, 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 na. Ghostly Lurk? I think I might have congratulated someone with a similar name to yours then. I don't know, I feel like I've seen your name though. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. What do you stream? Maybe I know you from that or maybe I know you from Twitter or something? Boom! We landed on Pickle... Pickles? Taff? I don't know where one word starts and the other ends on that one. It's either Pickle Staff or Pickles Tath. One of the two. God, my eyes are just, just abominable. Dare, you're in the game. Mostly stream sword speed runs right now. Okay, you do speed runs. That's awesome. I love speed runs. Have you done other Pokemon speedruns? Because maybe I've, like, heard your name on a couch at GDQ or something? I don't know, I just... Oh shit, a track, that's a good TM. I just really feel like I've seen your name. You know, I used to speedrun uh, Silent Hill 2. I haven't done it in, like, six months or something, because uh, I just did it casually for fun. But I do want to get back to it, and I also want to learn how to speedrun um, the PC version of Metal Gear Solid. That looks like a fun glitchy run. I like speedrunning super glitchy, janky ass PC ports. That's fun. You followed me on Twitter earlier today. Oh shit, that's why I know your name. You are, uh, the top of your bio said that you play Zerg in StarCraft 2 and you have like a, a pro esports team. I thought that was cool as hell because I, um, because first of all, I play Zerg. Although I haven't played in a long time. I grew up on StarCraft. And second, um, my my mom and my sister come over every year to watch the WCS StarCraft Grand Finals together. And so I thought it was really cool that I saw that you uh, you play StarCraft 2 and you got an esports team and everything. So I thought that was cool. So I, I followed you on Twitter and on uh, I followed you on Twitch because I wanted to like just pop in on your stream sometime and say hi. That's why I know your name. 
There we go. Yeah, that's why I followed you earlier today. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just wanted the item. Still love that Cryogonal is genderless uh, snowflake Pokemon that can only charge. Yeah, Cryogonal's weird. You're playing this on actual Switch? Yeah. Here's my Pro Controller. Switch is across the room. It's, it's in the dock so I can plug it into the capture card. I'm gonna use Circle Throw. I'm gonna use Circle Throw again. Maybe I'll work up. So it just has Astonish and Withdraw, right? Well, first of all, my friend, it's an apple, not a apple. Second of all, it has a face on the other side. It turns around sometimes. I always thought Astonish is a really dumb move. Oh yeah, you can bake apples, can't ya? You're gonna go watch TakeOver? Yeah, TakeOver's starting in a couple minutes, so I gotta wrap this up. I just wanna go get that item first. You need to get that apple now? I've got one, actually. It's on the team. Sorry for shadow stalking you for a year, never coming to real support to take this stuff now. I appreciate it. Don't worry. It's, you don't have got, you got nothing to apologize for. There's nothing wrong with lurking. Doesn't make you not a real supporter. You're real. You're right there. Time for me to spend hours resetting an uh, unrunnable, <laughs> uh, unrunnable swabbles. Yeah. Good luck, man. I don't know what the speed run- Drifloon! Oh, that's cool. I don't know what the speed run's like for this game. I imagine the meta is super- Get away from me. I'm guessing the, uh, the meta is still super crazy right now and is changing all over the place. I think that is one of the most interesting times in a game's history is when the meta is all over the place. Like, like when a new strategy game comes out and everyone's scrambling to figure out, like, what's the optimal way to play? I love that shit. Good luck with your speedruns, man. I'll try and pop my head in sometime when I'm, like, grinding in Pokemon for a challenge or something. Everybody, go follow him. He does cool shit. Anyway, I gotta wrap this up, because, uh, a pay-per-view's on, and I don't want to get spoiled, and I'm gonna just work on a Pokemon challenge while I wait for Fatima to get home, so I hope you guys had a lot of fun, everybody. Uh, and I'm gonna go get some work done. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.